to our channel. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of what I eat in a day, but like not really. I'm just going to be bringing you guys along for what I eat, what you eat. Because mm -hmm. my diet has changed since I started breastfeeding. There's foods that I can't eat. Mm -hmm. I have to eat a lot more food. Right, and we learned this all the hard way. <laughs> we try and give him like a morning nap, but sometimes he just skips it. And when he does do it, it's often like for five minutes. <laughs> so we'll see how long he naps for, but I'm going to go downstairs and make breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Julia does not eat breakfast. She's not a breakfast person, but I can eat breakfast for like every meal. Okay, I do eat breakfast. My breakfast is a protein shake. So we're going to go downstairs and do that. I already showered because I have a doctor's appointment today, so I wanted to make sure I was ready mm -hmm. at least if I didn't have time to do my hair and makeup. But uh, let's go make some breakfast. Let's go. At this time of the day, the dogs like to go crazy. I don't know what it is, but in the mornings, they just get so hyper. They'll just run around. We call it the zoomies. Where Frank especially will just run back and forth all the way down the hallway, all the way to the room, just back and forth, just sprint. Yep. So I am going to make some oatmeal really quick. It's really good for breastfeeding. I don't know if it's something in the oatmeal, but I think it's just like the extra calories because oatmeal is something about oatmeal though. It is? It is. It, there was a study that was shown that if you eat oatmeal, there's like, I don't know, remember the exact numbers, but your supply will increase if you eat oatmeal. You're going to make your protein shake? I'm going to make my protein shake. All right, Dean's let's gonna do cry. this. Dean's going to cry even though she has a toy. <laughs> Dean, what do you eat in a day? Kibble? Hey, why are you playing with Frank? Frank, entertain your sister. <laughs> If you want to make really good oatmeal, all you have to do is put quick oats, almond milk, and some blueberries, and then you can literally top it with whatever. It's so good. Do you want to tell them what's in your protein shake? Um, water, very low cal, and protein. Shake. Gross. Mix. Disgusting. That's it. Morning out of my way. This protein shake is not very good. I. What is this? I'm back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was about to... The only reason I said it was because you can see it in the background of my video. I give Abby a hard time because she always leaves the fridge open. She'll forget, this is what she does. This is my imitation of Abby. Oh my gosh. So she's, she's getting something out of the fridge and then she goes like this. You see? And then it doesn't, it doesn't shut, she barely touches it and then it'll just sit here half open. Gross me so, all you want. What anyway, you are nice, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean it in a mean way, I just mean we should like not have our food go bad. Right. Did you, oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> Maybe you're exposed. That is so that. you. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I'm talking about my protein shake. I don't like it. It's not good. But I drink it because I work out every day and you gotta have some protein after you work out. I like to keep it low calorie though, so that's why I only do water with it and I just chug it. Not very good, so that's the trick. If you're eating something that's not good, just down it. Yeah, that's the trick. You, on the other hand, you like to spit. Bruce things up, make them real nice. Yeah, look at my oatmeal, it's like beautiful. Yeah, you have a beautiful oatmeal. Um, yeah. I would never, if I was gonna eat oatmeal, it would be just hunched over the sink plate. You used to do that when you I did I did used oatmeal. to do that, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like. I put cashew butter and then the blueberries, strawberries, honey, and that's about it. Delicious, I'm gonna sit and eat this and watch Harbor sit in his mamaru, and then I'm gonna hurry and get ready for the day because then I have to go to a doctor's appointment and we don't have much time. Hi, Dean. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Look at your sister. It's Dean. Say hi, Dean. If you guys are wondering what Harbor had for breakfast, it was, in fact, booby milk. Did you have a good booby milk this morning, honey? Oh. I also have to make sure to drink way more water now that I'm breastfeeding. I probably drink like four of these a day, maybe five sometimes. I try and drink as much water as I can and I'll also drink something like with electrolytes in it. And then I usually have a snack before lunch. So I'll show you what I have for a snack. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet, but I'm sure I'll have one because I'm sure I'll be hungry. Breastfeeding makes you starving. Like you get cravings and you're just hungry all the time. I did not expect that, but so I'm gonna go get ready to drink my water and I'll catch you for my snack. I just finished getting ready. So good, I only put like some leggings on so it's not like I like got like fully ready. I wanted to have a snack before we head out. Because I'm breastfeeding, I've been trying to boost my supply because when I had blood loss in the hospital, my milk came in a little bit slower. So I've been using like lactation bars and little cookies and things. And I got this from Thrive Market, so I'm super excited. I've been eating these like crazy, which I have my big Thrive box, which I'm so excited about. Shout out to Thrive for sponsoring today's video. A few of the things that I got are some potato chips. Me and Julia 
love chips. So these are really awesome because they're made with avocado oil. The market doesn't just only have food, which is super nice. So I also got a bath bomb since I can finally take baths. This one is lavender and chamomile. Um, rice cakes. I've been loving rice cakes lately. I don't know. I've been on a rice cake kick. I don't know what it is, but it's good with like avocado, Nutella, peanut butter, anything. Or some chocolate chip cookies because we're not always healthy in this house. We always got to treat ourselves just a little bit. I may have already eaten some of these. Some Rice Krispie treats. So my favorite thing that I got was the Nourish Her Lactation. Like they're kind of like a granola bar. They're super good. This would be originally $24 and I got it for $20. So that makes it about 16% off. So I saved a lot of money getting this. So if you don't know what Thrive Market is, basically it's an online market where you can find healthy foods and they want to make it easy for people to order healthy foods online. They don't just have food, like I said, they literally have anything. We also got Dahlia a little like tincture of CBD for dogs, which is super awesome. And you save about $32 per order. And that's because everything you order is marked down, so you're saving money every time you get a box in the mail. Last box we got, we actually got some cleaning supplies, and I've been loving it because I don't like to wash out the tub like before Harbor takes a bath of like anything harsh or anything. They have things for babies, dogs, yourself, self-care. I've seen like skincare stuff on there, obviously the food that I've got. For every paid membership, they sponsor a free membership for a low-income family. In this box, Julia has literally opened up like so many of the candies that we got. She's already been in here. Caramels, like this was full. <laughs> More Rice Krispie treats that she also opened. All you gotta do is click the link in our description and you'll get 25% off and a free gift on your first order. I am also going to fill up a water bottle for the road. That way I can just take it and I'll probably take my little bar with me as well so I can eat it in the car. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this while nursing, but the moment I start pumping or he starts feeding, I get this insane like thirst feeling. Like it's to the point where I feel like I've been in the like desert and I'm gonna die of thirst. Like it's crazy. So I always have to have a ton of water by my bed. So when I wake up and feed him, I'm not dying. And I also have to take water just in case I have to feed him while we're out. I'm gonna throw this in my purse. And then I'll probably come home and eat lunch because it's about 12.40 right now. My appointment's at 11, so I'll probably be wow. home around 12. You what? said 12.40 right now. It's not 12.40. It's 10.40. <laughs> it's 10.40 right now. I'll probably be back around 11, so I will catch you when we make lunch. Just got back from my appointment. I changed my shirt because I was so hot in a sweater. I don't know what I was thinking because it's actually kind of warm today. What's going on over there? <laughs> No, it was not. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, it's like 60 degrees today, so I'm feeling like it's spring. I know. So I went and put a tank top on. Still wearing leggings, but that's okay. We're going to make lunch now. Also, I got back from my six-week post-op appointment, and I'm all good. I'm all healed. Everything went great. Woo! What do we call this? Because we kind of made it up. I don't know. We didn't make it up. I don't know. What it's the like word a is. creamy zucchini thing with chicken. It's really, really good. It is. If you want to make it, just follow along. I'll show you everything that we do. But we're gonna make that. It's healthy. It's filling, and it's like kind of high calorie, but in like good like calories. So it's, it's good for the right macros. Look at this cute little boy. Look at him hanging out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was dropping hanging the out with his mom. You hanging out. You are the like cutest nice boy. At the boy. You slept the whole time. Mm -hmm. You so handsome. Do you miss your binky? He's it. just the cutest thing ever. I hate that I always use this jar of rice as a tripod right here because I have to bend over because uh, this always, is not the vibe. You should get like a tripod for the kitchen because we always yeah, use a tripod kitchen. Rice. I'm going to start making lunch like I said. But it's just crazy to me that like I made a human and as like stupid and annoying as I am, like he is just like the most perfectest, cutest baby ever. It should tell you that you're not stupid and annoying. That should be like the most like affirming proof to you that you are like actually yeah. a great person. Also, every time I see like the doctor that did my C-section, because if you're new to this video, I was planning a home birth and we transferred to the hospital. I had never met the surgeon before. He was just the on-call doctor. I see him now, obviously, because he did my C-section. He's always like, yeah, that was a lot that we went through those past couple of days. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry that I'm like your most annoying patient. We were just talking about how that was probably so stressful for him. He's just working. All of a sudden, this girl comes in. At th like 5 o'clock in the morning. And has all these issues. I'm screaming in pain. The epidural's not working. Like He's probably like, oh, what do I do? Anyway, it ended okay, but he probably hates me. But we're going to make lunch now. First thing I'm going to do is start chopping a onion and a zucchini.
got those chopped up. Now I'm going to add some butter to a pan and throw in the zucchini with some garlic salt. We also have some chicken in this pan with just olive oil. And then I'm gonna let this get cooked and then I'm gonna add the onion. Barbara's over here watching some veggies on the TV. What do you think? Uh, he likes these things for some reason. I think it's the contrast. Yeah, I think it's like the colors, but now we get the little tunes stuck in our head. <laughs> this isn't copyrighted. We're about to find out. and let the broth sit in for a minute. And now I'm going to add heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. I know a lot of people say that you're not supposed to eat like dairy or like certain foods while you're breastfeeding because it can upset their stomach. I don't eat a lot of dairy. I don't eat like milk, but I do eat cheese and like small things like sometimes heavy whipping cream or something like that. But I don't want to cut it all out of my diet and then put it all back in because I feel like if I were to put it all back in, then his stomach would be like more upset when I did that. So I've been slowly just introducing those things and it seems to be working for us i don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it but his stomach doesn't get upset it's been totally fine so the only thing is broccoli but also that upsets my stomach so that's you that's a me thing the whipping cream is expired it expired on the 7th so never mind i guess we're using almond and milk she opens it she goes is this sort of oh march 7th and she goes to like <laughs> open it and like put it in and like wait no i guess we're using um almond milk. This is what it looks like when it's done. It looks a little bit more watery because we had to use almond milk, but that's okay. We're just going to top it with rice and it's going to be delicious. Abby said I need to talk more, but I don't understand why I would need to talk more because this whole video is about what Abby eats in a day while breastfeeding. I mean, sometimes you just like want to People care what Julia eats while being a Julia. No, they don't. No, no one cares. Don't. I was eating chips and salsa. That's exactly. it. Exactly. This is kind of spicy though. My mouth's a little bit spicy. I probably shouldn't have been eating that right before I eat lunch, but... Sometimes when you got chips and salsa, you gotta eat the chips and salsa, so. Harbor is having his lunch. I just ate. This lighting is really bad because the window's right behind me. He's having his, his lunchy. And I'm drinking more water because like I said, I get so thirsty whenever I feed him. I don't know what it is, it's crazy. I don't know if this counts as like what I eat because like I'm only drinking it, but I, I got a Starbucks. We stopped by Starbucks for our family walk. We actually walked a long time. It feels so good today. Like. It's nice and warm. Harbor loved it. He's just back there talking. He fell asleep for most of it. He woke up during the end and was looking yeah. at the trees. It was really cute. But I just got the very, very hibiscus refresher. I used to get this before I was pregnant all the time, but I used to get it with almond milk instead of water, but I forgot that I used to do that until I started drinking it. But I think it would be good with coconut milk now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, that's what I got. I'm rambling. What did you get? Just a cold brew. So it is not quite dinner, well, it's kind of dinner time. It's five o'clock, but we have to run take Julia's parents' dogs out because they're on vacation. So I'm going to quick make a smoothie, which is good because I'm gonna put coconut water in it because I hear that that helps with breastfeeding. So I'm gonna quick make a smoothie. Do you want a smoothie? I nope. assume not. I Julia not. doesn't like smoothies. Who doesn't like smoothies? Kind of messed up. I think I'm just gonna do like banana and some frozen fruit and stuff. So I'm gonna whip that up. Then we'll probably have dinner after. One banana, some frozen fruit. All right, taste test. Good. I actually like it. It doesn't really taste like different than using like almond milk or anything. I'm also going to grab a bag of pop chips because Julia pre-portioned them. So you know your serving sizes. And I'm gonna take this and take it on the road. Are you guys ready? Let's go. I'll catch you at dinner. It is dinner time and we were going to make dinner, but we actually stopped and got sandwiches. Got like a Southwest salad and like a, a sandwich. So pretty healthy, but also like high calorie. So I think I'm doing good for the day. This is what I got. Looks good. That's what Julie got. What did you get? Bacon and tomato? Turkey bacon and avocado. Mmm. I got a turkey provolone and a Southwest salad. Yum. I feel like usually this is like the last thing I eat. Sometimes we'll have snacks at night. We usually have snacks at night, not every night. We've been trying to be more healthy. And now that I'm cleared to work out and everything, we gotta get this mom bod in shape. So no unhealthy snacks for this lady. I'm 
He decided he needed to eat while I ate too. <laughs> so we're both eating.